Hi again, this is Chase, and today I would like to continue on with the Refresher Braille 18 series of videos. Today, however, I won't be showing you the Refresher Braille 18 itself. I'd like to show you how to connect the Refresher Braille 18 to the Braille Plus or the icon. This is a very simple procedure and is done using the Braille Display Manager, which allows you to connect to any of the many supported Braille displays. You don't need to worry about turning on Bluetooth or anything on the Braille Plus or the icon before you look for the Braille Plus as the Braille display as the Braille Plus will take care of all that for you. For this video I'll be using the Braille Plus handheld without the docking station but I will give the commands that you would use if you are using the docking station. I will also be showing you how to connect over Bluetooth first and then I'll show you how to connect over USB. My Refresher Braille 18 is on and at its main menu as well as the Braille Plus is at the Applications menu. And wireless and Bluetooth and all that are off on the Braille Plus, so and no programs are open. So I'll begin by holding down Program 1 for turning on opening the Braille Display Manager. If you remember, pressing Program 1 quickly will enable and open Bluetooth Control Panel and start Bluetooth but we don't want to do that as the Braille Display Manager will take care of all that so I'll just hold Program 1 which is the key to the left of the Applications button. We hear the Program Open sound and Braille Display Manager, how is your Braille Display connected? What Bluetooth? It asks how our Braille Display is connected. We have Bluetooth, if I down arrow, USB, USB Free serial over USB. and Serial over USB which is where you could use an old Braille display that uses the serial port by using a serial to USB adapter. This would enable you to use like a Braille light or a type light or one of the older Freedom Scientific displays that use serial cables. I'm up arrowing to Bluetooth, though I could have just pressed 1 and I'll press select. We are starting Bluetooth. Okay, I'll press OK in just a second. I just want to mention that we don't need to worry about a discoverable mode over here on the Refresher Braille 18 because, as you remember, it, when it's on, it is discoverable for Bluetooth. So I'll press OK. Searching for Bluetooth devices. It's searching. And the only choice is Refresh Your Braille Chase Crispin, which is what I've named my display. So I'll press OK. Use up and down to select the type of display you have and press OK to continue. At Refresh Your Braille 107. Now it has the different Bluetooth kinds of displays that are supported. But in the first choice is APH Refresh Your Braille, so I'll press OK. Connected to Refresh Your Braille Chase Crispin. Bluetooth Manager. Enter Security Code. Enter security code, which if you remember from the last video is simply one, two, three, four. I'll enter that. One, two, three, four. And press OK. Okay. Braille display manager connected to refresh braille chase Christmas. And we see empty list on the braille display. So if I go to the applications menu. Applications menu. We're in the Applications menu and I can so either layer. use the Braille buttons on the Refresh Your Braille 18 or on the Braille Plus and it is showing up on the display what is, what is being said in speech. Okay, I shut down Bluetooth and close, and close down the Braille display and shut off my Refresh Your Braille 18. So now we're ready to start all over and show you how to connect the Refresh Your Braille 18 on USB. As you can see, I have connected the USB cable to the Refresh of Braille 18, and my interface cable was already connected to the Braille Plus because it is charging from being used all day at school. So I will now take the Refresh of Braille 18's interface or er, USB cable and plug it into the Braille Plus's interface cable. This can be a tight fit, but it is pretty manageable if you have it going in at the right angle. There we 
There we go. Now, since there's power going into the refresh of rail 18, it automatically turns on. So now all we need to do is hold down program 1 to open the Braille Display Manager. Starting Bluetooth. Ah, it thinks I want Bluetooth. Connecting to refresh of Braille Chase Charisma. Now, it's connected to the refresh of Braille 18. Now, I knew this was going to happen, but I want to show you what will happen if you decide that your battery's too low or some such situation where you don't want to use Bluetooth. So I'm going to hold down program 1 to turn off Braille. Braille off. And it is off. Now we see the display name on the refresh of Braille 18. I'll push 64, Six. 6 for utilities on the Braille pluses, four. and 4 for That's Bluetooth control panel, Christmas. which is where I can turn off Bluetooth. I have my list of Bluetooth devices, which your Braille displays or keyboards will show up here. I'll press menu. Options menu. One find Bluetooth devices. Free or this device. Nine turn off Bluetooth. And I'll go down to nine turn off Bluetooth. Turn it off Bluetooth. Applications menu. One and we're at the six. applications menu. I want to go to settings now, so I'll press six. six. One set. One. one. Settings. One general settings. Oh down Two arrow. Settings. Three speech settings. Four data time settings. Five braille display settings. And braille display, braille display settings, settings is what I want. Select the braille display. Refresh the braille chase crispin. To auto. You select the now, select. refresh the braille chase crispin will be Bluetooth since that's what we've used. So I'll go to the menu. Options menu. Want to delete this display? Delete this display. I'll press select. Are you sure you want to delete refresh the braille chase crispin? And I'll press OK. Display deleted. Select the braille display. Press select to add a braille display. One of one. And now Top I'll go to settings. cancel. Applications menu. And cancel one again. Space. And I'll hold program one, and this time it shouldn't connect to Bluetooth. Braille display manager. How is your braille display connected? One Bluetooth. Now down down arrow. To USB. Instead of choosing Bluetooth, I will choose USB by pressing select. Use up and down to select the type of display you have and press OK to continue. After refresh a braille one of twelve. And we have twelve choices because there are twelve types of, of supported braille displays. That doesn't mean twelve supported USB displays, it means 12 types. So for example, if there's a 20 and a 40 and an 80 cell display, but they're all the same brand, that'll just be counted as one display. And if you remember from just a second ago, the first choice in the, tw in the list of 12 is APH Refresh of Braille, so I'll press OK. And we hear USB APH Refresh of Braille. And now, on the display, it's showing workspace, so music, player, music player, library menu, library menu etc. That's pretty much all I would like to show you today on connecting the Refresher Braille 18 to an icon or to a Braille Plus. This will work the same way if you're using any other display. The only difference might be when you're using Bluetooth. You may have to enable a Bluetooth sharing type of setting on the display, and the pairing code might be different, but the general procedure is pretty much the same. That's about all for today, and I'll try to be back next week or the week after that with some more Braille Plus training videos.